In this video, we'll be going from this completed rebar and wood foundation form to a completed concrete foundation. Now that all the concrete forms are in place, we're bringing in the cement crane and pump, and we'll be bringing in uh, five cement truck loads, each containing six cubic meters of concrete. And the cement uh, crane is essential on this particular section of the foundation because of the tight space, the depth of the foundation hole, and the amount of loose clay that's piled around that we have to avoid knocking into the hole before the concrete is in place at the bottom of the forms. So we're in the process now of unfolding the crane which is a pretty slow process. What you're seeing in this photo is four times real time. So it's a pretty slow, cautious process of getting that tube in place to start pouring. Here's a lizard's eye view of the entire arm fully extended. So in addition to the crane and pump, and of course the concrete trucks, uh, we also have the vibrator tool that's uh, basically a gas engine with a long rubber hose and a metal vibrator on the other end. And the hose is long enough to push down into the bottom through the concrete as it's being poured and vibrate that concrete down fully to the base of the foundation. Now the guys are waiting for the first truck to arrive. We've been waiting quite a while. You can see Ugo here uh, p putting up a light because we'll probably be here well after dark. So I sent the drone up to see if we could locate the cement truck and taking a look around the neighborhood. There it is coming down the hill toward the build site. So it should be here in just a couple of minutes. So back down to the build site. On the far right hand side of your screen it'll back right up to the to the cement crane. So once that truck's in place the guys are bringing out loose concrete that they mix by hand to pour into the pump that you see there on the back of the truck to prime that cement pump and then we'll be ready to start emptying the truck into the pump and transferring it through the crane on into the foundation forms. We've got four people working the form. There's one guy directing the tube and controlling the flow of the concrete into the forms and he's followed up by the two guys that are running the vibrator machine one to move it to stay up with the pour and the other to push the vibrator down into the concrete and get it flat and level get it compressed correctly and make sure there's no air pockets And then there's Ugo down in the bottom and he's checking the depth of the concrete on the floor of the foundation, uh, troweling it out so we have a even 25 centimeters down there. So this went on all through the afternoon and we're now into the evening. If you notice the shadows and the flickers, there's that fluorescent light that Fair and Ugo put up earlier and they're continuing to pump the cement into the forms even after dark. A couple days later they're removing the, the forms. We'll be saving all this wood for the next uh, section of foundation that has to be built and poured. Uh, Palomo's sitting here on cat watch You'll notice that he spots one here in a second and takes off after it. Yep, no cats allowed on the work site. I'm not sure why that is, but that's his rule. The remaining task is to get that mound out of the middle and use the dirt to pack in behind the foundation on the inside and outside 
to create a comfortable uh, platform for working on the next phase of the process. From here, we start building up.